Okay, the final step to making this uh, edge look really hot is the displacement effects which I talked about before. So we're going to create a new comp code displacement map and we need to combine two layers for this to work. Our luminance layer and our amber particles layer. Let's add them to each other. We can pre-compose both. Call this displacement map pre, click OK. And uh, we're gonna get a gray solid, 50% gray. Place this below our comp, go to the comp, effect, color correction and tint, and set the blending mode to add. And that is the displacement map. 50% gray means these areas are gonna be unaffected, but all the white areas are going to be moving around. Let's go to the main comp and bring our displacement map below everything. We can hide this, but we need to create a new adjustment layer called this displacement. Go to effect, distort and displacement map. Then we can point to the correct layer. We need to change the horizontal displacement to look at the luminance and the same for the vertical displacement. And to begin with, we're going to have this at around 10 for the strength. And when I switch this on and off, you can see what it does to the edges. It just bends and uh, twists them. And that's how we mimic a heat distortion effect. I'm going to go to when we switch to the final camera. So at six seconds and four frames, and I want to set keyframes to the vertical and horizontal displacement. And then from here to the end of the animation, I want to lower the displacement to just one because the further away this would be, the weaker the effect would appear. And that's it. That's how we make those edges really pop and uh, look like they're really hot. In the next section, we are gonna look at blending our logo better with the current background. See you then.